How's everybody? Well, we're progressing with the greenhouse beautifully. The bed is prepared in front now. Uh, here you can see we have found loads of old bits of glass and aluminium stuff and things like that from when the glass house fell apart. Oh gosh, it fell down 24 or five years ago. So there was shattered glass all through this front bed. There's the potting shed door. So this is, I'm planning to do is make it so there's gonna make stepping stones to go through this bed of dahlias so that my mother can pick the flowers easily because that's too wide for her to reach across to the tall ones. You can see the windows that I got from my friend are installed. I haven't cleaned them yet. They're still very dirty. But here you can see the beading work that we put in the front. Then these boards here for the air circulation, you lift it up and the air can get in and circulate. We have to figure out, we have to do the props yet, but the hinges, they're hinged all the way along and all the boards all the way along lift up. So um, you can see here's two sets of boards so that air will get in and circulate. Still waiting on the plastic roof. In here, a shelving unit is gonna be put up and all this timber I got for free at the local co-op. These boards, I've painted black, but the, the we've painted black, but these boards are f s s used to hold um, stacks of stakes up together. And these other timbers, they have them lying around. So I was a scavenger and scavenged those. This is, it's wonky, it's not screwed together or anything. It's just to give you an idea. So there's one of my uh, hot boxes. I will um, uh, put tomatoes in it at some stage because I don't know when we're gonna get the roof. The roof is not gonna happen yet. So we're progressing along really, really well. The windows are there. Here you can see more of the, um, the um, boards for the shelves that um, will go will make this unit here. Then I want to show you something really, really cool. This is up the ladder here. The wisteria is now blooming at this stage. Those that got hit by frost are not that bad or coming to, but look at this. This, one of the guys who was working on the roof saw spotted this and we've painted it in black. You can just see right there what it was. It was wire embedded in cement with the date 1928. And that would be my great grandfather uh, would have built this. It was poured cement form. Then if you come all the way up here, hello, you can see the flashing is on. We've put the flashing, there are my doves. Oh, they're looking beautiful. Look at them. Oh, gorgeous. Anyway, this is, the slates are starting to go on. The flashing is on so that the roof will drain better and not into the shed, but over onto the shed roof. And so you can see the slates are being set up to be put on. And here's the field, the wind charger field. So, um, yeah, we're progressing well. So this is the next stage while we're waiting for this roof here that's coming from France. And I'm thrilled to bits with finding this date, which now gives us an idea that it was my great grandfather who built this. And there it is. And what I'm thinking of doing is, okay, so far we've painted um, it with this black metal paint. I'm thinking of just doing a white box around it so you can see it. Because when you're down underneath, you can't see. Here, I've got to climb down the ladder. I'm filming and talking 
and on a high ladder all at the same time. Maybe not the best, most intelligent thing to do. Anyway, you can hardly see the date. Unless I zoom in there, you can then just about see it. So I was thinking of doing a tiny white box just to encompass it, to frame it up so that you can see it says 1928. So that is doing really well. So that's frightfully exciting. So the progress is marching onwards. And the grapevine that we butchered back so that we could do this, oh, pardon me, uh, is uh, the grapevine is coming out. You can see this one is, this one is rooted in here. So, but the one that's outside, which is what grapevines are supposed to be, the vine is rooted down there. And so we've done a bit of wiring up to hold it up against the wall. But this is, let's see where is it? There's a bud, look. So this is budding up as well. So, which is very exciting. So we haven't murdered the grapevine with all the work that's been going on, thank goodness. So all looking well and start planting dahlias probably tomorrow. Well, first we'll do the little footpath in the middle of that bed so that my mother can pick the flowers and then um, plant my collection of dahlias. So it's looking good. All we have to do now is wait for the roof.